Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play a Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 42. In the previous video, we arrived. We are almost home. We're not quite there. We have to head over to the infamous Crossbell City. Well, first we gotta walk along this road, but eventually there is a chance we will get to be wow. back home. Yeah, there's still that just thing in the middle of the water. What a scenic place. I had heard Crossbell was just one big metropolis. I see the SSS has been slacking when it comes to chess in the in the time since then. I mean, I guess they're probably disbanded, but... <laughs> well, once you leave the city, you get this. Just like Erebonia, really. Right ahead of us is Lake Elm. They've got pleasure boats set up to go around it. Don't call them Way pleasure down there boats. on the right, you can just make out Michelin. It's a famous resort area. I, mean, I know it's a phrase, but it, it, come on, it has connotations. Finally, on the left over there, is the international trade city itself, Cross Bell City. It certainly is beautiful here. I never came to the outskirts when I was here on my missions. Well, since we're here now, might as well enjoy it. Shall we head off to the city now, Instructor Reen? Yeah, let's get going. I feel like how just happy Yuna is <laughs> talking about Crossbell. <laughs> Does it seem as though she's acting a bit strange? I mean, she's definitely kind of putting it on a little bit, but... Yeah, but let's leave her be for the moment. Okay, so we're... I mean, we could we could just go to a freaking medical college. I mean, it probably won't let us, but... Yeah, yeah! Now, okay. brace yourself. Yep. That's it's my exactly turn. how I wanted this to play out. It was all according Crimson to my slash. plan. Now! I'll assist. Here I go! Let's go! Raging fire all formation! Right. And one of these days, you know, we'll upgrade your weapon and then you'll be allowed to do damage. Uh, that day is not today, apparently. Granted, no amount of weapon upgrading would have uh, helped there. Come on. Kurt. Kurt. Uh, strike! Okay, you could just one shot him. That works too. Battle complete. Let's continue. Massive XP. I mean, it was only two enemies, but still. I expected a little bit more than 60. Hey, come on, this is the opposite direction of the city. Follow me, everyone. Uh, Alright. Uh yeah! How's Take him down! And that has like a long wind up. Second form, Gale! The amount of times I mean the All crescent right. flash and I Gale instead, it's it's a little too high. You can't escape! Fire! Very well. Yeah, definitely. So if we we'd have to delay all of you. Okay, here's the play. Uh you do that. Very well. And then you do it again. Uh Very well. Want to see me blade dance? Want to see me do it again? Uh, strike! An opening! Did now. We just get to dodge. Is that allowed? Activate for destroy. Now. An opening! Let's go. Ha. I'm up. Ha. It's down. I'll assist. Was my support helpful? Yeah, thanks as always. That's a bit better on the old yeah, I XP did it. scale. Did we get any Sapith out of that? We're not really paying attention. Please, Sapith. Thank you. Thank you. I do feel like we're at the point in the game where you can start giving me more than 50, but, you know, I guess a beggar can't be a chooser. A beggar can be a complainer, though. Down. And that one's... Yuna's is scary. I feel like it has a much more of a delay than all the others. Get back! It's my turn! There's a minor problem of you not actually you doing escape. anything Fire! Right. <laughs> I don't think they can kill now. you. Not technically, I think we, I think you missed. An opening! 
That would have maybe been a decent chance to burst. Because it should break everyone, but this should also break everyone. Or not. It could, it could not. Very well. You can stealth? Is that allowed? Uh -ha! Actually, my turn. Quite annoying. Uh -ha! Very well. Let's go. Evan Crest. Let's go. Uh, strike. You fool. Very well. You have been bamboozled. You have activated our trap card. Uh, strike. It's down. Oh, uh, this man is still alive. You see, the thing is, is that this man is still alive. Uh, take this! Wide open! It's mine! Very well. You see, the thing is, is that this man is still alive. Uh -ha! My turn! As Let's long go. as you Raging fire don't formation. miss. Uh, strike! Behold the Vander style. And the Vander style do be kind of smacking. Okay, bro, you could have like died. Oh, Treasure this is located. bad. This is really bad. Okay, he's not following us. Locked and loaded. So real talk, why are the black records just laying around in treasure chests <laughs> randomly? <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really make too much sense. Granted, I mean you did just find them randomly on the floor in the last game, but uh Do you know something about those ruins in the water? Nope. Oh yeah, the locals call it the Happily Ever After Shrine. They say that couples who say their vows here will be together forever. Yeah, because they die. Yes, very romantic. You don't actually understand, do you? <laughs> uh, I found some treasure! We found, ooh, Tarara rare, ooh, ooh, Tarara rare, you say. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does I get HP right? Not a huge amount, but it's definitely better than this mute. I don't even know why you have this, if I'm being honest. Granted, you already have Tarara. I guess you just have it for the strength. And I mean, it is fine in terms, I mean, 25 strength isn't bad. Granted, I would probably rather have 10, 15 less strength than have this. Or you could have the moon lens. Just for quality of life. I think it's 12 strength. And a spell that's okay, but at the same time, I... heat up is just so weird. Because it is good, but it's just hard to justify using, I guess, over like everything else. And I, granted, CP isn't as much of an issue now with like, I mean, Raging Fire is just so strong. With it being like such a cheap ability that's very spammable in a lot of situations. Yeah, probably just regular. I mean, I just, Talos is so nice to have. We could not give it to anyone else, and we could tr give it to you, because we do have two Thalosses already. 280 HP is just not, it's, it's kind of hard to get excited about at this point in the game. But do you have your brakes equipped? You don't have your break anymore. I don't, we used to have a break too. I don't know what happened to it, it's gone. Ah! There. Okay, let's ah! do this. I don't really wanna fight you guys. Let's go! Raging fire formation! But as long as the next fight Crimson isn't too bad. All right. Try not to cry, cry a lot. Uh, Honestly, I'm surprised Yuna does mine. any damage. Very well. 
Like it's it's kind of impressive. Because I mean she Let's still go. is using default equipment. Uh, strike! Now Okay, you actually heal? Charging. Yeah. I'm up! Then never mind, link back up with Kurt. You could look well granted this isn't gonna be the end of the fight. Yeah. More hostiles. I don't think we've seen Kurt in It's my turn! Altina's, and I don't think we've seen Reen in Yuna's. Get back! Now! It's mine! Take this! I just don't want you to stealth me. I shall go. We could try it. Activate, destroy! It's my turn! Set! Got it! There's a chance you don't kill. Our chance! Oh, well, you're linked with Reen. Well, no, Reen's An fine. Opening. I don't think we've seen Reen's. Good job, Yuna. Hmm, I guess I wasn't bad. I'm not exactly setting the world on fire there. I must Party powder. Even... Stats updated. Didn't really want to do that fight, but this spot seems excellent for fishing. I'll probably be the last one we do. Why is he pretty far from here? A matchmaking shrine, huh? I'd like to know more about its origins. Dr. Reen, by any chance, are you thinking about someone right now? No, not at all. Submerged ruins on Lake Elm. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Vivi. All right, let's get. I'll send it to her later. Actually, you'll send it to her right freaking now. I don't know why I just didn't send it automatically. I don't really know what the point of, like, making me go in the menu is. Let's see if Vivi likes what I've taken. So, Breen. Hey, Vivi. Just wanted to give you a heads up that I'm sending you a photo. Now, let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. I'll send you your reward. Uh, yeah, whatever. Ah! You could have ah! just shot the rock. No one would have been mad if you open fired. And we just gotta maneuver our way through. There it is. It finally feels like I'm home. Oh. Now entering Crossbell City. Look at it. Look at it. Music's interesting. It kind of retains a hint of that original theme, but it's got like some tension to it. Why? There are a lot of new buildings here. It's quite different from Heimdall. Orcus Tower is particularly impressive. Yeah, I me mean, it do be kind of tall. There may be plenty of new buildings, but we've got a lot of historic ones too. Like we have this big old bell. Since Erebonia and Calvert used to govern this place together, it's got influences from both countries. I imagine so. That large bell there is rather impressive too. And there are quite a few orbital cars on the road. It's just what I'd expect from one of the most cosmopolitan cities in Zemuria. Finally seeing the light, huh? I don't think anywhere in Erebonia is a match for this city when it comes to modern technology and orbital cars. <laughs> You're right. Perhaps, but the capital also has plenty of mobile cars. The main streets are always so congested, the only way to get anywhere is to take the trams. Well, uh, population-wise, the capital is 880,000 and Crossbelt is 530,000. In terms of modernization, Ruhr is a very technologically advanced city as well. Yeah, but it's like, it's just got a, oh, I got an escalator. Wow, look at me, I'm so cool. Shut up, no one cares, Ruhr. You're like four houses. <laughs> You're gonna get attacked. We're not trying to say crossbow isn't great or anything. <laughs> I'm simply saying that if you compare the cities one aspect at a time, 
Why can't you just be impressed? This is the center of economics, international trade, and culture for the whole western half of Zemuria. We got the best technology in the world here, including the Orville Net. Hey, we even got Orville air conditioning all over the place. Uh, that certainly is impressive. It is true that not many places have implemented the normal Orville Network. <laughs> what, do you think I'm being childish? <laughs> no, I think it's great. You're right, this place is special in terms of technology, economics, and history. Once they start going around, they'll understand soon enough. Good point. I am looking forward to it. Anyway, we don't, need to see the, don't we need to see the Governor General? We need to go to Orkios Tower. You, come on, you know that's not happening in this video. Alright, let's head north to the Administrative District. Nope. You can't make me. No, send me back! You motherfuckers. Two hundred fifty taller than I expected. I suppose this place would be quite important. Volume wise, the Valfame Palace is bigger. <laughs> You're gonna get fucking hit, lady. But in terms of height, this building is the tallest in the world. Yeah, but here has a ton of empty, unused floors in it. Yeah, and also there's like that weird evil dungeon. <laughs> Mr. Croix, are you are you telling me you want uh, the evil interior is actually uh, necessary? That was honestly my favorite bit from Azur, was the Mr. Croix going through the, the Orkios Tower dungeon. I wonder why there's so many people running around here the first thing in the morning, though. Probably because of the inspection team. Oh yeah, most likely. Better arrive just past noon, right? Yeah, we need to find out how much this affects our special operation missions. Let's go talk with the Governor General right away. Yeah. Move out? I don't wanna. You motherfuckers. I needed to get something registered today, so I came here first thing in the morning, but I can't believe it's already this busy here. Is the Governor General's office always like this? I seem to go help the General Affairs Department today. Man, today's gonna be crazy busy. Do I recognize your name? Your name seems kind of familiar. I was told to come in earlier than usual today. We're gonna have some top class VIPs in. Everyone who works for the Governor General is to be called in for help. The boss of the General Affairs Department sure is on edge today. I'm starting to get a bit nervous too. Preparations for our guests today are almost done. But are you sure we don't need to close down the station past noon? That's what the higher ups told me. We just need to comply. Please send out the notifications. Understood. Good morning, sir. Today is the day the inspection team arrives. We can't afford to make any mistakes. Be sure to complete prepared. Uh, yeah, sure. What are they inspecting? We don't know. <laughs> oh, you're from Thor's branch campus, yes? We were told you'd be coming. You can come through. You are... No, 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 not you. I'm trying to... I feel like I know you. I need to go help the Governor General's Affairs Department. I don't know. Joey, I, I, don't... I feel like we maybe also know Joey. Is he just like the... was he the... no, he, he wasn't the security guard here, was he? Wow, this place is amazing. In terms of a technology and expense. Well, it was built by the richest person in the world. The former president of Crossbells was the CEO of the International Bank. You're from the Thor's Military Academy branch campus, correct? Yes, we're Class 7 Special Operations. I was told you'd be visiting. Please accompany you to the elevator over there. And remember, if you get in the other elevator, it doesn't work. It'll never work, okay? We just didn't get it working, alright? Only the one on the left works. Not my first time seeing it, but it's still breathtaking. I'm sure the view from the top is even more impressive. It certainly is something. There's no view quite like this in the Empire. Is that so? I suppose it's changed so much since the tower was built. Oh? Really? The mayor popular with the people declared our independence at an international conference. Then he went to war with both the Empire and the Republic. If he hadn't done all that, we'd still be... I mean... Nah... Crossville is getting invaded regardless of what Dieter did. If we're being completely honest. 
I mean, Dieter sucks. He's a bad dude and bad leader. It's not really his fault. I see. My apologies. I neglected to do my research. Well, it's all in the past now. Let's hurry and go meet the Governor General. Yeah, let's go. The Governor General's room is through the second set of doors. Please proceed down the hall. Understood. Let's go. You can't make me. I don't want to. I mean, eventually we're gonna get free reign and then it's over with. You can see everything from here. Maybe not everything. I know, right? It's a nice way to see the whole city. Ah, oh, welcome. The Governor General is expecting you. Please enter. He's very busy, so try and keep your visit brief if possible. Nah. He can stay waiting. Anything over here? Nope. Fine. I guess I'll talk to Ooh, I'm Rufus. Uh... This way leads to the emergency stairs. The emergency stairs? <laughs> Those have probably never been used. <laughs> Rena and the others were checked for security reasons. Afterwards, they were finally led to the Governor General's office. Quite enough, Governor General. Ah, yes. Do come in. Is it Robo Rufus? <laughs> it's good to see you again. Excuse us. I, mean, I guess it's just the intercom, but... Yes, it's nice to see you both again, too. I mean, his coat is pretty cool looking. I gotta, I gotta admit that. Though I think it's my first time meeting the other two. I am the Governor General of the Province of Crossbell, Rufus Alberea. Temporary Governor General. It's a pleasure to meet the new Class 7 of Thor's Branch Campus. <laughs> it's been some time since I last saw you, but I can tell at a glance how different you look. You've definitely gotten taller. But more importantly, you've really matured. Thank you. Though I'd have to say Eusis has changed even more than me. Yes, so I hear. Speaking of, you seem to have changed as well. Yes, yeah, she gave her and ears to And you haven't cart. changed at all, Governor General. Oh, kind of a low-key burn. My height is approximately the same as it's always been. Allie! So tactless. <laughs> Granted, your blunt manner of speaking hasn't changed. It seems you have some good friends now, though. It's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. I am Kurt Vander, the second child of the Vander House. Ah, yes. Your father has helped me out a number of times in the past. It's unfortunate you didn't join the main campus, but I'm sure there are valuable opportunities to be had at the branch campus as well. Yeah, like uh, saving cats or whatever we're gonna have you do. Thank you. And you are... Una Crawford. Originally from the Crossbell Military Police Academy. I transferred to Thor's branch campus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard about you. You're acquainted with First Lieutenant Orlando and Second Lieutenant Seeker, correct? Further, Major Revelt was the one who recommended you to the Academy. I'm sure you've gone through much lately, but I think you'll find your new school to be a good match for you. I believe it is a good blend of the perspectives of both Erebonia and Crossbell. Yes, I'll do my best. All right, then I'll make our report now. Rain reported. Very well, I pray to audience you find success. I'm sure, I'm sure you're already aware, but an inspection team will be visiting from the Imperial mainland. Despite the fact that we've raised the security level to maximum, I yet have my concerns. Society's been active and a cryptid has suddenly appeared. Reen received the list of special operation and mission requests. Outside of the normal requests, Reen also received a document labeled a Crucial Investigation Report. 
They investigate the reports of cryptid sightings in the Crossbell Province. What? I feel like I've done this before. Is that... What's a cryptid? Ah, uh, they're like extra dimensional beings or whatever. We don't really like go into detail about how weird it is, but yeah, there's like, they, I don't know. There's, there's a thing that exists, Kurt. You just kind of get over it. Cryptids are extremely powerful monsters with mysterious powers. In the Civil War, a number of them appeared around the Empire, and they were all kind of underwhelming, if I'm being honest. But they're showing up in Crossbow now? I mean, the Turtle Lord that you fight at the, the first one you can fight, he's... He's not really that hard. He's only hard if you fight him immediately, because you lack some of the tools to deal with him, but... The rest are all just, like, so heavily countered by Magic Reflect that... Indeed, it seems one was spotted just the other day on the mountain path to the north. I'm told it's oh, Mountain Path to the North. Mines. I, I just want to. I just want to hear the music. I'm told this isn't the first time they appeared in Crossbell. Have you perchance heard about them before, you know? Yes, I didn't know they showed up in the Empire too, but I heard a few of them appeared at the Declaration of Independence a year and a half ago. I see. But why would they reappear now? Could it have something to do with the society? Given their actions in Sutherland, they should most definitely be our top suspects. I can hope to ask the branch he to be on the lookout. Understood. I'll relay your message to the others. Do we need to investigate the cryptid on the mountain path as well? No, that one has already been defeated. I'd like for you to investigate the other areas in which they were seen. Already been defeated. Already defeated? Was it the Imperial Army's doing? No. A certain, uh, wanted fugitive took care of it. Okay, I'm guessing that's Arius. Ah. Uh, a wanted fugitive. Instructor Reen. Yeah. However, it wouldn't do to keep relying on a wanted man to clean things up for us. Therefore, I expect good news from all of you in regard to this task. And with that, I bid you all good luck, Ashton Chevalier and the members of a new Class 7. Understood. Yeah. Alright. After that, Reen and the others left Rufus to his preparations for the inspection team. Before you go, a small bit of news from Lecter. There's a possibility the society's witches here in Crossbell. I guess I guess that's why Emma's here. I was kind of want, kind of assumed when she said something about like looking for her. They traced the radio recordings back to somewhere in Crossbell. Could be a false lead, but the intelligence division is looking into it. I understood. I'll be in the lookout myself. She's a difficult woman to deal with, so do be careful. Oh, so it seems you've been in contact with Usus recently. We actually haven't, but mostly through letters and noble messages. We haven't seen each other in a while since we've been so busy. I see. Hmm. Have you not talked with him since? I haven't. I think it's too good my yelling my brother when the opportunity presents itself. I'm sure we'll have much more to discuss besides just him. Should have punched everyone. Understood when the opportunity presents itself. Like, I wouldn't have fixed anything, but like, come on, if you just decked Oswin right in the face and Rufus, would have made me feel better. What were you talking about, Governor General Rufus? Is that about Yusus Alvarea? Yeah, more or less. Yusus, he's Governor General Rufus's younger brother, correct? He's the acting head of the Alvarea Dukedom, which oversees the Croizen province. He's also a member of the old Class 7. I see. Jeez, is everyone from the old class 7 some mega hotshot? I mean, there's Gaius. <laughs> he just kind of exists. Even that Elliot guy's the son of some big word in the Imperial Army, right? Uh, I guess so. Oh, we may not measure up to all the allies that Fugitive has in helping him. That's... I've been wondering. You seem to have an idea of who this Fugitive could be. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> but of course. He's the uh, true hero of Crossbell. Let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. He beat down an evil cult and arrested the dictator mayor. Oh, so wait, is it actually Lloyd that we're talking about? I didn't know if Lloyd would be considered a fugitive. Excuse me? Before the annexation, the Crossbell Police Department had a division called the Special Support Section. Okay, now that's actually more exciting. Because I was just going to assume it was, you know, we're, we're going to save, keep Lloyd on the back end. And it'd be like they're teasing Arias, because that does sound like something he'd be doing is just going around. Because we know he's definitely wanted. The man we're talking about was its leader, 
he and the other members overcame so much together. Yeah, like punching God in the face. And now he's a fugitive in his own home. Lloyd Bannings. Instructor Randy was a member of the SSS too, actually. Yeah, because I, I, was, I wasn't really sure because, you know, since they're letting Randy kind of do his own thing, I didn't know if Lloyd would also be considered a... Like, if it would just be like he's actually a fugitive or they're just keeping an eye on him. <sighs> Instructor Randolph worked alongside someone like that? So if this man is a fugitive, what has he done? Don't, uh, shut up. Did he resort to terrorism in an attempt to free Crossbow? <laughs> Don't even joke about that. Yeah. I mean, sure, he's in hiding now, but he's just trying to help Crossbell get its freedom back. Not to mention, he's helping people in trouble and hunting down cryptids. There's absolutely no way someone like him is a criminal. He and his friends are the ones in the right. Yeah, tell him, you know. Uh, apparently seem like a just person. Yeah, he couldn't be further from being the dangerous fugitive they painted him as. Wait, you both know him? Uh, oh no, Ixnay on the tunnel lay. Yeah, we fought him back before he was branded a fugitive. Each of us refused to back down, but in the end, he came out on top. The weight of what he was shouldering, his flawless teamwork. I told him it was a tie at the time, but looking back, there's no question I lost. Okay, Green, you get some respect for that? Well, I beg to differ. Shut up, Altina. <laughs> Green at least can be like, oh, well, I just didn't use spirit unification. I would have won if I did that. You have no excuse. <laughs> you get it, instructor. There's no doubt that he and the rest of SSS are the Crossbell's true heroes. Way more than a certain Chevalier I could name. Hmm. That doesn't change the fact that he's a criminal. Shut up, Kurt. <laughs> like I, I mean, if, if you don't go to the main campus, if Seti wants you to, you'll be a criminal before you know it, man. It doesn't, uh, it's all made up at the end of the day. I don't see him as a criminal at all. But the Governor General certainly seems to. Well, Rufus is a criminal as far as I'm concerned. I know you don't want to hear this, but don't even think about going out to help him out, okay? I know that. Even Randy's holding himself back. Go and get these special ops missions by all. Since Randy isn't allowed to go anywhere, I'll help lessen Lloyd's burden for him. Yuna, you're certainly energetic all of a sudden. I'm glad to see you finally return to your usual self. <laughs> I agree. But that's strange. Lloyd Bannings. I heard he's on the run with that girl. Even if he gets help from the Divine Blade of Wind or Yin. How long can he keep running like this? Remember that time he broke out of prison with some metal pipes? With Strut's then preparing the inspection team's arrival, security's being raised to the max. I'm glad I got to see the Governor General about it before this work started. And for some reason those pipes were actually better stat-wise than all the other Tompas you found in the game prior to that. <laughs> well, fancy meeting you here, Reen. Oh god. We're gonna see a full body Machias. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I just can't Machias. handle it. Just, I can't not laugh every time I see him. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, Did you just get here? Look at him. Look at his face. What are you wearing? Why are you cosplaying as Reen? Oh no, I arrived yesterday and came here first thing this morning. My inspection work starts today, and just like your field exercises. My fellow inspectors and I need to go greet the Governor General. Ah, I see. We just got back from meeting with him, actually. Good luck. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm ready for him. Hey, um... Is this your brother, Reen? Why is this... Who is this strange man? He is also a member of the old Class 7, as well as the son of the Imperial Governor. 
Uh, yeah. Doesn't doesn't help disprove the idea that they're all mega hotshots. Governor Regnet's son. I don't know who that is, but he sure sounds like a big deal. Oh, you're that Black Rabbit girl. I've heard you enrolled at the branch campus, but you've sure changed. Nice to meet you too as well. I'm Machias Regnitz. Here, I'm here in Crossbell on business for the Government Accountability Inspectorate. That's quite a mouthful. Yeah, we hear that a lot. It's an organization that keeps a check on the various governmental agencies from a judicial standpoint. Do they actually do anything? Uh, not really. Is that so? Sounds like you chose the hard road at the worst time. Allie, <laughs> come on. Rude as usual. No, no, she's absolutely right. We're in charge of making sure that there's no wrongdoing in all the government agencies, including the Imperial Government and the Governor General. Sheesh. Seems hard to open an understatement, but like, if you discover wrongdoing, what are you gonna do? Uh, we'll find them. A very small amount of money. <laughs> yes, it's the one he chose all the same. Seems like you're doing well, all things considered. Yeah, at times it feels to feel like the laws are closing in. But it's the same for everyone these days, right? Yeah, pretty much. Machias! We're cleared to visit now! Did you pay this man? Oh, Reiner. Let me introduce you. This is my classmate, Reen, and these are his students. Oh man, for real? I heard so much about you from Machias! I'm flattered. We shouldn't keep the Governor General waiting. These guys are busy too, so let's talk some other time. Yeah, you're right. We better get going. Uh, you're here for the field exercises. I'm sure it'll be tough, but give it everything you've got. Uh, Machia said that you said that a lot, so I figured I'd say it too. Uh, I'll give you a call tonight, Reed. Good luck to you all. Yeah. See you later, Machia. See you too, Reiner. Very well. Good luck. He's young, but he seems quite capable. I mean, he seems much more grounded than his superior. However, the inspector is full of talented people, so I'm sure that his superior is good too. But he seems a little inexperienced to be taken on the imperial government of the Governor General. Yeah, that'd be hard for anyone. Our Class 7 predecessors all seem to be really challenging themselves, huh? I don't know how to say this, but I'm starting to feel really motivated. I couldn't sound as enthusiastic as you if I wanted to, but I agree. So should we get started on our Special Operations missions? Right. Let's check the request document one more time. What, what do we got? Okay, that's probably going to be introducing the old Teotot. Audit and ends are shorthanded at the moment and require help auditing stores. Captain Kate, she's a... She was not a captain previously. She's been upgraded from traffic duty. The Great Crossbell Bake Off? Oh, it's Bennett. Looking forward to ideas that help me revolutionize the world of bread. Appreciate any idea. She, she st don't mention this to Oscar under any circumstances. That's good. Sounds like I have an ample number of requests this time. Consider it's the Governor General who made them. They seem reasonable. Well, really, it's the Governor General of Crossbell. He wouldn't make unrealistic requests. Yeah, like, <laughs> make bread. See ya. Looks like the cryptid one isn't very urgent. Yeah. Wait, it isn't very urgent? I, I, I feel like it's more urgent than making bread, but what do I know? Due to the large cryptid that was seen in the northern mountain regions the other day, there are concerns in the following regions. Southern Crossbell City, the sandy shore of Lake Elm, along Ursula Intersection? Uh oh. There was a cryptid there. That's where you fight Turtle Lord. Off the East Crossbell Highway, the swampy lake area ahead of the Boat Shack. Also, that's where you fought Maul Lord in the art attack that one shots you. The only one that was actually seen was the one in the mountain region. Since the request is given to us, I guess we just need to check the other two areas where cryptids have appeared. The special support section has terminated cryptid in both of those areas in the past. Since they're kind of far out, should we finish the requests that are inside the city first? Yeah, since these are required, let's circle the city first. Since this place is huge, it'll probably take us the whole day. Let's we'll just go to the areas specified by the request. Good point. So that would be the harbor, East Street, and West Street. West Street? Oh, you're right! Massive that's where you lived? What's wrong, Yuna? Uh, it's nothing. I see, could it be? How about we start at the harbor first? Then we can take East Street, go through the central square, and finish up on West Street. That's what I recommend. 
Yeah, strategy from the map that seems to be the most efficient course. I feel like she's hiding something. Well, let's just let her be. We have a required quest in the harbor, so let's go check it out. You and you're in charge of leading the way. Understood, let's go. You check your request at any time. Yeah, but like, I want to go to the slums. I need to repair for the press conference to hand out key cards. On the first day, we're going to have a dinner party with the VIPs. Damn, I'm in finance. Why well, is this my responsibility? The inspection team schedule is top secret. We cannot disclose anything to you. Thank you for understanding. I didn't really ask, but... Governor General Rufus is doing quite a good job. At the very least, government services haven't gotten any worse. My feelings on the matter are complicated, but I can tell he thinks about the citizens. Since we became part of the Empire, everything's been wrapped up in a lot more red tape than before. Uh, I guess complaining about it didn't do any good. I just want to get this over with. This is the general information desk for Orkius Tower. We handle everything from mundane petitions to sightseeing guides. Please come to us for your, all your needs regarding the Crossbell Province. I need you to stop calling it the Crossbell Province. This is the window for the Administration Procedures Desk. Please take a number. Of course, we get a lot of citizens on a day like this. We can't not take care of them. We need to make time to repair for... So, you guess you were just the receptionist guy. I was like, I recognize your name, but like not enough to like really remember you, but we didn't... The receptionist people didn't have that much to say in Azur. Today is the dinner party to mark your arrival. We Wait, mark your arrival. We here in the general affairs have quite a workload ahead of us. By the way, Crossbow government was consolidated into the governor general's office. As such, everyone kept their jobs, which is why I still work in general affairs. I got you're talking like you know us, but you don't? I mean, I guess Yuna maybe knows you, but... About 70% of this tower's staff were part of the previous government. However, since all the higher-ups are replaced, the quality at the top is different. Can I go bug Rufus again? We're almost in the home stretch. You have the good work, everyone. I mean, can I? I mean, I would assume I can't, but like, what if I could? Fine. I didn't know if it was one of those where it was like, one of the elevators doesn't work for some reason, like in Azur. Or I didn't know you could go up to the roof for like, a decent chunk of the way into the game. Because the first elevator just never works. The Imperial Army and the Railway Motors Police will be on security detail with us. And I suppose our higher-ups were pretty much all originally from the Imperial Army, so it's not too hard for us to collaborate. We all, we all work hard to make sure the visit ends up a success. The inspection team here are next on the line. Don't do anything stupid, okay? You don't do anything stupid. Wow, it's even more impressive up close. Picture time, we're gonna take tons of pictures! We came here to see the sights in Crossbell. Everything's so amazing here. I'm gonna need a lot of pictures so I can brag up to my neighbors, of course. I don't think we know. I mean, your name seems very vaguely familiar, but I don't know who you. I mean, it sounds like you're not here. If, like you'd be from somewhere near Avonia. Head to another district. I don't want to go to the harbor. I want to be untethered. Damn it. Noodle Man, he's there. This is the Northeast Harbor area. The lake you see over there is Lake Elm. The view from the park is breathtaking. This area has many modern buildings. Yes, the area also serves as the business district. Many companies have offices here, and a lot of imperial companies have been moving in recently, too. The only reputable source of news in the entire continent. One of the biggest groups belongs to the RF building, or the RF group. The RF group, the largest manufacturer in the empire. Didn't we receive a mandatory request from them? We should head there before we go to the other districts. What if we wanted to make a Mishy with Wishy? Yeah, I know I said it wrong. That's the Michelin cruise ship. I think it's preparing for the first trip of the day. 
If it's intriguing to you, we should go check it out. Then let us begin our patrol. Yeah, get back here, you. Uh, next delivery is there we go. We've been getting lots of packages from the hospital to Michelin lately. I've been slamming to tell you the truth. I remember you. Did you bring the documents to show to our clients? All right, let's get the show on the road. Yes, sir. Starting this spring, I started working for a major trade company. They put me on sales, and every day has been putting me through the ringer. The superiors are expecting a lot from me. I need to pull it together. And he is freaking zooming. They haven't been nerfed. They're actually still kind of good. 30 base CP and a... Okay, the heal's a little trash now, but... Um, I guess it's about... Like, it's equivalent to what... Because it was a 30% heal. I think maybe 40% with the high-quality version. I can't really remember. But a percentage base heal is just always going to be better than a flat 1,000. Okay. You think Green's a Noodle Master? Matt, there's a chance he's a Noodle Master. I feel like it's probably going to be one of the other Let's characters. Let's do this. All right, I did it. Initiate cooking mode. Better than I expected. Okay, he is maybe our Noodle Master. That or it's another character we don't have yet. As Fee just uh, mails us some noodles, I now guess. We're cooking. <laughs> it turned out really good. Wow, N none of you people can make Omega noodles. That or Reen and Reen or Altina are the ones. Let's we'll try Reen one more time. Let's do this. All right, I did it. I'm disappointed, Reen. Oh, Madea's announcement, training my disciple. Huh, still needs work. Get the path, they're not even the threshold of the noodle. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boss, I finished the kimchi you asked for. Let me see then. Hmm, still needs work. Not strong enough to complement the broth. Needs to go down smooth, a crunch, a kick, a punch. C can you, uh... Be a little more. Oh my god, he's moving so fast. Can you be a bit more specific, boss? And we should make some. Initiate cooking mode. Better than I expected. Now I want to check out the news service. Oh, you're over here now. Welcome to Crossfell News Service. Pardon me for being blunt, but was there an issue with one of our articles? Uh, that's not it. I want you to ask that. I see, is this what the Crossfell Times has published? You know, it's about every Crossfellion reads it. Even now, its circulation is being supported by the people. It's gaining more traction now for its criticisms of the government. Though I've heard it's not without its consequences. Yeah, that sums it up. I feel like I've seen this guy before. Why is he walking around with a small child? What a weird group. <laughs> We believe in giving people the answers they want and deserve. Our writers provide that. They can be extreme at a times, I'll admit. Our editor-in-chief had to make quite a number of court appearances after the annexation. Thank audio things have settled down since. Oh, the inspection team should be arriving soon. It's kind of hard to do research when you don't know who's coming. Research, eh? Uh, I'm not a government spa. Well, he's not really a government spa, but... Are you... Oops, you can tell. A disguise, huh? You must have it rough. Think you could let me interview you sometime, if that's alright? Uh, I'll uh, get back to you on that. Can't fool a journalist, I suppose. Grace can't come back just yet. At this rate, I might be interviewing the whole inspection team myself. But you're here for some other reason, aren't you? Think you could let me interview sometime, if that's alright? Well, if Grace is here, I guess we can... I mean, you gotta try. Uh, go just the good old times of not being able to go to the second floor. No matter what you do. 
I mean, at least it makes sense for her to tell us we can't go to the second floor. It was real rich back in Azure and even Zero. Saviors of the damn city. Oh no, you can't go up there. Oh, it's a, it's a radio station now. The cross building branch the Imperial Chronicle Radio, to be more precise. A very new establishment, much like the RF building. The building itself suffered an attack before the IBC bomb bombing. Reconstruction for both buildings finished roughly at the same time. Hmm. All of the same thing? Yeah, they do. Oh, oh no, hey, he's over here now. This building is. It looks like an old office building. It appears to be locked. Hmm, seems like someone's inside. This building, could it be? Come on, let me in. Fine. Fine, be that way. Oh, so the RF branch is where the IBC used to be now? I was gonna say, I, th I thought I saw a building. But I wasn't sure if it had been... Rebuilt, or if it's something new, but it is something new. I mean, I guess the IBC is just gone and dead now, right? Oh, it's quite busting considering how early it is in the morning. Sure is, that's because the boats here take it straight to Michelin. It is a rather famous theme park viewable from the field exercise camp. I believe its full name is Michelin Wonderland. Yup, its mascot Michi is super popular with kids and adults alike. Tourism has been on the decline, but since the annexation, there have been a ton of visitors from Erebonia. I see, I've never been to a theme park before. They were closed last year, so I don't have any first-hand experience. Same here. Since we're already here, it'd be a shame not to check it out at least once. Huh? Is that a soldier? Seems they're checking people as they disembark. That's the Crossbow Military Police, right? Yeah, what are they looking for? It appears the Royal M.O.'s here police is here as well. You're right, but still, why? Didn't the people being searched the ones who stay at the resort hotel? Yes, in which case, they're probably increasing their security because the inspection team is coming. That makes sense. If I remember correctly, there's a railway that goes directly to Michelin through the medical college. In which case, it's not unusual for the RMP to be involved. True. Strange they're only checking the guests who are returning. Either way, I guess we won't have to lecture to go to Michelin during our special operations mission. Let's finish up and move on. Yeah, yeah, we know. Alright, let's go. I mean, I was under no impression that we were going to get to go to Michelin. Oh, we're at? We're at 50 minutes? We probably should call it here. And we, could, we could do like a little walk. I was gonna say, I have a hard time buying they built this shit in a year and a half. I feel like if this was in, in America, they'd be like, ah, we've got some dirt. <laughs> That's usually how construction works. Like, oh, we can get the dirt patch done, but anything more than that, oh, it's gonna be another seven, eight years. Looking up like this, it's really quite tall. It's not quite as tall as the tower, however. The building was originally used by a well-known bank. The International Bank of Crossbell, the largest bank on the continent, once run by former President Kreuz. Yeah, right before the Declaration of Independence, there was a bombing here. Since then, the building was vacated. On a side note, the repairs of the building were finished last fall. The IBC has downsized, but they should still be tenants in the building, as well as the Epstein Foundation, who made the request. Oh, let's head inside. Besides, the receptionist introduces us to the new chief. So I guess that's why Tio was, was in contact with Elisa, is because... Epstein's branch is in the RF headquarters? Okay. I didn't know if it was that she had been transferred and was working there, or what? 
Oh, it's Wang. It's tough to work this early in the morning. Welcome to RF's Crossbow Branch. You look like students. Can I help you with something? Talk to the receptionist if you need anything. Well, Alright, we'll head into the RF uh, group headquarters or Crossbow Branch in the next video. I'm Extra Cheese 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.